Hi guys, André Rodrigues here and welcome to the Tangent Wave Booster 2 presentation video. In this video, I will show you an overview about my software and what it can do. In our website, there's another video with a deeper review where you can see each function of the software. This video here is just an overview to show you what is a Tangent Wave Booster and what it can do. I started this project in 2020 and in that time Tangent Wave Booster 1 had a lot of limitations most because in that time Tangent Mapper didn't have the, the OSC support but now it has and this is amazing because this opens a world of possibilities without the OSC support I had to work with shortcuts and so I had I had to remap all the DaVinci Resolve with a thousand of shortcuts and when you was pressing a button or moving a knob in the panel it was like you're doing the shortcuts thousand times and this creates a lot of bugs and was not practical and not fast and uh, the worst part is the work with these shortcuts uh, created a lot of limitations so I didn't had the possibility to work with the knob buttons with the press of the knobs and I didn't have the opportunity to work with all the trackballs and things like that because uh, I had to, to create another way to make things work with shortcuts so I had a lot of limitations but in 2021 Tangent launches a new version of Tangent Mapper with OSC support and as I said this made everything easier so I decided to launch Tangent Wave Booster 2 with a lot of new things and a completely redesigned software where you will have a total control uh, over DaVinci Resolve. Now we don't have almost any limitation and uh, we can control uh, almost any tool inside DaVinci Resolve and I will still updating so I will create more functions with uh, more control but the actual version has in fact uh, control of almost everything inside of Resolve. it's amazing and you're gonna see it but before I start I have to ask a favor if you like this project please make a donation there's a lot of work and time spent to make a uh, tangent wave booster a reality so please if you're enjoying this software help me to keep doing new updates with new features and maybe if I get a MacBook I can do a port version for Apple systems too so go to our website and there's a QR code there there's a link you can click on your computer or you can use your cell phone camera to read the QR code and do a donation for this project the OSC support makes possible to you use any other mid controller that has a uh, mapper software with OSC support so if you're using I don't know loop deck or Elgato or another software that has OSC support just uh, map uh, your software with the functions and everything will work with Tangent Wave Booster 2 in our website there's a video where I teach you how to map and how to use the functions and there's a documentation with all the functions there are a thousand functions and then you just choose what you want and copy and paste to your map software and use with your mid controller you don't need to have a tangent panel of course with tangent panel will be easier because a uh, tangent wave booster already comes with the, the mapping so you just uh, select the map and everything will work fine if you're using a tangent panel but as I said it, it's not a limitation you can use with any MIDI controller since this MIDI controller has a, a mapper software with your SEC support it's important to say that the name of my software is Tangent Wave Booster but uh, you're not limited to use with just Tangent Wave you can use with any tangent panel and even with elements vs in your tablet uh, and as I said you can use with other mid controllers uh, as long they have the, the, the map software with uh, OSC support another thing that I have to say it's you're not limited 
to use Tangent Wave Booster with DaVinci Resolve. It was made for DaVinci Resolve, but if you learn just a little about uh, Auto Hotkey, the HAK language, you can get my code, it's an open source code, so you can get it and edit to be used with another software. So you just change the functions and the positions of what you want and you can use it with another software. In fact, it's even possible to use with another software without code. Uh, you have just to create some correlations between the buttons from, from the Vinci Resolve interface with the buttons of the software that you will use. But uh, maybe this can be a little confusing, but uh, it's possible to use even without code. Uh, it's better if you know how to code because you can create your own code to control everything you want. That's it. Let's stop talk about this and see what Tangent Wave Booster 2 can do for you. Okay, as I said, this video is just an overview. I'm gonna show just some features and what is Tangent Wave Booster, what it can do. If you want to learn about each of these functions, you have to watch our long video, our long presentation, where I show you each one, each function that Tangent Wave Booster has. So, talking about Tangent Wave Booster 2, we did a lot of uh, improvements. Uh, the oldest version had thousands of limitations, was really, really bad, based in, in, in uh, shortcuts, and was crazy bad. This new version is everything automatic, and it has thousands of new things, thanks to the OSC support that Tangent put on their Tangent Map software. So now, with OSC, we can do a lot of things more. Just trying to explain fast and easily what is OSC. It's a communication protocol that makes uh, Tangent uh, Wave Mapper communicate with my software, with Tangent Wave Booster, or any other uh, mapper with OSC support will communicate with, with, my, with my software. So it permits the communication between two softwares. And so my software has thousands of functions here. Uh, these functions has names, as you can see here. And uh, the tangent mapper is uh, configured to uh, shoot these functions. As you can see here, there is a name of a function for each button or knob or uh, the trackballs and everything. So it call this function on OSC and my software listen and execute something when it listened that uh, function. And this was uh, an exceptional improvement because in the past we had to use shortcuts and thousands of shortcuts and the repetition of the shortcuts creates a lot of bugs and thousands of limitations for my software. Now with this, uh, we have a lot of more space and one of these improvements uh, was the auto change between the tools and this is amazing because uh, we can use the panel on a JIT page and color page. Uh, so if I'm on a JIT page and I'm using something here, let's say I'm playing and I want to go to color page, I just choose here what mode I want to work. So I press F9 and choose what mode I want to work and I made this to make things simple so and, and fast. You can be change between the tools very fast, you just press F9 and choose whatever you want to use. I want to use HDR wheels, that's it. I'm there and if I use any tool now, it will auto change to color page and to HDR wheels. So let's say I want to use the saturation on the second wheel on HDR wheels. I will turn this and as you can see, my saturation there on shadow, it's moving. So it's automatically changed to color page and HDR panel and start to using that tool. And if I want to come back to edit page, I can press F9 and back to edit here and start to using any tools here. So close this clip gap and automatically goes to edit page. Uh, this is amazing. You can navigate fast between panels. If I go to F9 and kill some curves, I'm gonna read all dots here and I'm there. I'm in all, I'm in the custom curves. Uh, now I can change for the power window. So I'm gonna click here and I just click in somewhere here and it will change automatically. I can create a linear power window automatically fast and I can go here and go to 
uh, RGB mixer and if I start to use it, it changes the panel automatically and I can back to edit mode and keep going editing using this. Another improvement is the possibility to put uh, functions on the knobs pressing buttons here. The knobs can be pressed and uh, now we can put functions on this. In the past we didn't have this possibility so I can go to let's say primary wheels and change my temperature and if I want to reset just the temperature I can. I just click here and I reset the temperature for zero which is the default one but let's say I'm using hue which is 50 and I can change it and press here and it will reset to 50 or pivot 0.435 is the default mode so if I click it it will come back to 0.435 and I can reset everything individually so this is very very nice one more thing we can have functions now on these buttons here which was impossible in the past but now we can have some uh, functions here but for this six buttons here there's a little small limitation which is i can create functions for them but you cannot map it on tangent mapper uh, i can create default functions and you can change it or you have to go to the code and change inside the code so you you need to learn how to decode uh, the tangent wave and change the code so you will change the functions but you cannot change it on the tangent mapper but this is a really small limitation the nice thing is we have functions for these buttons too and uh, one more new thing here is um, we have support to HDR wheels which we didn't have in the past so this is very nice we can use all the HDR tools and the HDR zones we can set up everything and it's amazing so as you see I, I'm changing max range and I can use this to reset it so it's, it's amazing you can use the the high dynamic range tools uh, there's a lot of tools here you can use almost any panel we have motion effects now we can control the the things here on motion effects so i can change here and control everything unlink and control them uh, so it's it's very nice there's uh, a lot of new functions there's nodes and scopes to control nodes and scopes uh, and you can control your thumbnail you can change here between the clips uh, and you can run the thumbnails but here we are we have just a little part of it so let me go to edit page here and uh, maybe put a little more clips here I say let me put this like this okay I'm gonna back to color page here and uh, now I can run here as you can see fast between the clips and I can choose between the clips here uh, I can navigate it between the nodes turning this not this jog wheel uh, there's a lot of functions so it's very nice there's functions on these buttons here too and uh, the most nice thing about uh, the tangent wave booster is you can use it for color grading so you have a lot of different modes for color grading but you can use it as a speed editor which means I can use it for edit too and in fact has more functions than the speed editor so I can go here and then I do a cut and then I can go here and delete it or maybe do a cut here and delete from to the end uh, I can select a clip I can move the clip on the timeline as you can see frame by frame or I can select uh, a digit point and move the digit point too as you can see uh, and I can zoom in and zoom out my timeline I can navigate it on my timeline uh, there's thousands of functions in out uh, reset the in out just pressing the knob I can put a mark and edit it I can delete the mark if I want so uh, and I can uh, turn to the other side and delete the mark I can select all the clips uh, let me do this I can select all the clips I can deselect all the clips I can select forward or backward um, uh, there's a lot of edit uh, tools here so it's very very nice uh, I can control my interface I can open and close media pools effect libs and everything else I can do the same 
on the color page so there's tools for uh, wipe split screen highlights and of course i can control uh the the interface too and on a edit page uh, and i can have uh, the complete control of my inspector so i can go to the inspector here and start to using the tools as you can see and if i close uh, the panel let's say it's closed and i go there and uh, open the the inspector and start to use some tool it will open automatically let me choose something here okay i'm here and i can just zoom in and zoom out and link and I can control all the transform uh, functions on inspector in the future I'm gonna update and put functions so you will can control all the inspector functions but for now you have transform and the audio volume here you can create keyframes if you want so there's a lot of things it, it will make your edition very very fast and very easy uh, and I do works on this without touch mouse and keyboard i just use the controller for everything when i need a mouse i can press f8 and this transform in a mouse so i have the the mouse movement here i have the scroll of the mouse here as you can see i can run this as a scroll i have left click and right click so if i need to use a mouse i can use directly here it's very fast i turn off when i want that's it this is tangent wave booster you can do a lot of with it you can control your color panels you can control your edition there's thousands of functions here uh, there's printer lights there's there's almost any tool can be controlled with tangent wave booster 2. as i said this is just an overview you can see another video in our website where you uh, gonna travel between all the functions i will show you every function that tangent wave booster has so if you like this uh don't forget to make a donation for this project so i can keep going so guys that is tangent wave booster 2 and if you want to have uh, a deeper insight about it you can go to our website and watch all the videos and there you will find uh deep videos uh, about uh, what each function can do and how to code how to change my code and how to set up the software and how to change the resolution if you need it and everything else i hope you like it, twb2 and i see you in the next video